Chimborazo. <laughs> I grew up over on Rosetta Street. Um, I'm you. And tonight, two days out from election, I'm just here to tell you that your vote does count. Don't take it for granted. Our fathers bled for it, they fought for it, and they also died for it. And I'm here to tell you that this is where it really counts, the community. And what we have to do, and again, a little bit about myself, I'm Leon Benjamin. I'm a husband of 29 years. Uh, I married my wife, who we actually went to high school together. I didn't know I was going to marry her. <laughs> we were all in the band together. I was drum major for a couple of years at, at James W. I graduated. Okay, I'm going to tell my age. I know I look like I'm 25, but I graduated in 1986. And, uh, and, uh, and, and me and my wife have been together. Uh, we got married young and three beautiful kids. My daughter just graduated from Virginia Union. Uh, yeah, VUU, I went to Virginia Union myself. I pledged Alpha Phi Alpha when I was at Virginia Union. And my daughter is now a math teacher at Armstrong. My son graduated from Huguenot. My daughter right now, my youngest daughter, just turned 17. She is at Huguenot in a dual degree program with J. Sergeant Reynolds, so she'll have a two-year associate's degree when she gets to her senior year. To God be all the glory. I am a pastor of 18 years. I've been pastoring for 18 years. New Life Harvest Church, I'm a bishop. And you know, and I, I'm, I'm just keeping it real. You know, I've been married 29 years and I just don't play Jesus keep me near the cross, okay? <laughs> I, I, I grew up with earth, wind, and fire after the love is gone, come on. And reasons, come on somebody. And, and I grew up in the marching band, so we played everything, talking out the side of your neck, come on. And, and, and so we are people who have values. I'm talking about specifically the African American people. We are people of conservatism. And your vote is going to vote your values, your conservatism. And all of us in here um, grew up in a neighborhood at one time where everybody could whoop your harm pots. Do I got an amen right there? Amen. Everybody could correct you because we believe in family. Not only you, I got a whooping from school, then I got a whooping because my mom was still at work, then my neighbor whooped me. Then when I got home, my mama and daddy whooped me, so I could get at least four whoopings in one day. But we are a community of people who need to embrace each other again and not be divided. I'm running on a platform that represents now the African American community after 400 years in Virginia, you know 400 years is the number for probation, 40, 10 generations. We are not here in America by accident. God brought us here, whether through slavery or indentured servitude, or maybe some of us, because we were good swimmers, some of us could swim from Africa probably to get over here. But God brought us over here for a reason, so that we could be a people who could not be easily broken. In our Constitution, we have the First Amendment, which is freedom of worship, freedom of gathering. We got to be a people who can be free to worship what we want to worship and who we want to worship without being penalized for what we worship and who we worship. We got to be a people that can gather together and come together so that, you know, it's more about numbers. Come on. More of us means more strength. So we got to stop killing each other. We got to start taking each other out. Look, I, I'm telling you, we, we have a chance through Congress in this session to bring more policy now to give people not only a second chance, but criminal justice reform is about helping even our law enforcement or anybody else understand the plight of our communities and what is really needed, whether it be not just more police, but more mentors, more fathers, surrogate fathers. I've been a pastor for 18 years. I got three kids, but I got about a thousand surrogate sons and daughters that have come through my life, me and my wife. We gotta be able, and I know some sensitive issues, so I'm being real. 
You know, some of us, if you've experienced anything where you lost a loved one, or maybe you had to uh, do something uh, to, to, again, keep yourself dignified, and I'm talking about even when we talk about this thing called abortion, don't worry about it. We gotta understand, we are great in numbers. We gotta increase our numbers. The devil wants to kill all of us. He wants us completely wiped out. And so I'm running so that we can increase our numbers, so that we can grow stronger, so that we can be a united people. My opponent, I call him M.I.A. McEachin, missing in action. I want you to have access. A wise person said it like this, if you don't have a voice at the table, you might be on the menu. And I want us to be at the table. And I'm asking you, get out and vote. Now, I can't tell you who to vote for. Misty told me I can't say who to vote for. But I'm telling you, you got a chance to make a difference right now. Be one. Be strong. This is our heritage. This is our opportunity. I grew up on Rosetta Street. I understand. I know what's going on. I, I grew up in Midlothian Village. I, I used to live in Rough and Road. I grew up in Rough and Road Apartments. I grew up in Lynn Haven. I'm telling you, this is, my mama would have never thought I'd be running for Congress. But that's what I'm doing. And I'm asking you to pray for me. Pray for us. My team is here, and I need your prayers. I'm serious. My team is here. We got some information to hand out. Ask me questions. If you want to talk to me, I'll talk, I'll talk with you afterwards. I'll hang around for a little while. Uh, I might not dance because I'm still doing the snake and stuff like that. So I know they don't do that no more. But I'm telling you, God bless you all. Thank you so much for having me, Misty. And all the she Grammy, right? Four Grammys. And all the rappers. Now I can rap a little bit, but my son can rap better. So I'm not gonna embarrass myself and try to rap. But she has done an awesome job in pulling all of this together and bringing people from near and far. And her heart is to, again, bring people more awareness to what's going on in politics. So it was my honor to be here. And God bless you. And thank you so much for allowing me to speak. Thank you. Everybody give him a round of applause, please. Thank you. So I have um, my next speaker that's coming up, which is my Moorish brother, um, Minister Khalif. He'll be speaking. Um, it'll take five minutes of your time, then we're gonna get to the concert. Are y'all ready for the concert? Y'all sure? I don't know. Maybe I should drag it out longer. Y'all ready for the concert after this? All right. Peace and love, everybody. Y'all look dead out there, man. I don't like that. You like that moment? I said peace and love, everybody. Yeah. Man, we gonna do that one more time. Peace and love, everybody. Peace and love. Hey, man, we in this house tonight, man. We about to rock this demonstration. We about to turn up a little bit. We got great talent, great people, great energy. We got love passing through the atmosphere. That's important. My name is Minister Khalid Muabel. I'm the Supreme Grand Governor of the Moorish Science Temple of America. And uh, the president of all of us in uh, Wisconsin, which is a statewide, uh, uh, national initiative. We got about 42 chapters across the country where we work on mass incarceration. We work on racial injustice, racial inequality. And also, I'm a directly impacted brother who did 15 years in prison. And I did 10 years in solitary confinement in the worst prison in the country. And I went into prison at the age of 15 years old. And I came out at 30. But I hit the ground running. And since then, I've built 14 businesses. 14 successful businesses. And uh, have a network that expands throughout the whole world. And uh, that's what the system tried to do to me, lock me down and keep me down. But God said no. I said, God said no. So all praise is due to Allah. I have here with me my beloved brother, the Supreme Grand Historian of the Moorish Science Temple of the World, and his name is Kerry Ayende L. 
was a very great friend of mine. He's like my brother from another mother. We kind of like the same people. And uh, I don't know how that worked, but I do know what the Spirit tells us. And we're moving in the Spirit. So I want him to give a few words, shed a little bit of light, a little bit of history. And I want y'all to give him a warm round of applause. Warm welcome. And I want y'all to really give him a warm welcome. Can we do that? Before, before we do that, I want to pay homage to our sister, Misty Blanco. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I think, we deserve, I think she deserves a standing ovation. I said we play homage to our sister, Misty Blanco. Right? Right? Hey, it's during, it's during COVID season and she's still gathering people together for a common cause and a common purpose. Her heart is with the people. Can we give her a real warm welcome and warm applause? Right for her contributions, for her sacrifices. And I know people be here standing on my sister's back, but y'all better back away. Cause there's gonna be problems for you if anything happened to this one here. That's my word. How's everybody doing today? For the record, I have a twin brother. His name is Kerry. And what my brother does from time to time, he gets us confused. <laughs> We're brother Corey Lindale. <laughs> Come on up here. Got two minutes and so look, I know I've heard the term black being used the entire night. I want to say that black is beautiful. But there's a it's a term that is being used. In political science, when we begin to understand the term black and what it means. It actually means civiliter mortus, which means civilly dead, dead in the eyes of the law. Am I understood? 